Hi, I'm a Forester here with just a quick video on uh, my simple solar power system. I use this PowerPack 600. I've had this, I've been testing it for a good while. Actually, I've had it several years, so much so that it's starting to fade uh, in color. But I use it just for a simple backup system. I'll show a, a um, picture of the uh, solar panels that are up on top of this gazebo area and I just have two solar panels. Each one is a 15 watt solar panel. Two 15 watt solar panels would uh, generate 30 watts of power in an hour's time and this will hold 60 watts or excuse me 600 watts. Generally uh, this won't fully charge in a day but it will charge in say a two day period of time. Later on uh, today I'll demonstrate how I use it inside. But here's how I hook it up. I have a, a regulator. I got this from Northern Industrial. I hook up the solar panels to the regulator with this type of clip. And then I hook up the regulator into the uh, battery like that. There's an on off switch right here on the power pack and three outlets that'll that are each 120 volt outlets. It has an automatic uh, or an emergency light that puts out a good bit of light. This shows the uh, charging status and how much power is in it and I'll, I'll demonstrate that later inside this evening. And then on the back there's a emergency radio picks up both AM and FM. It's not a very high quality radio but it's useful in an emergency. This has been very useful. I use it for emergency backup power and also for just lighting for two or three lights in the house at night. I'll demonstrate the uh, how I use it uh, later on uh, this evening. I wanted to give you a view of the sky. I'm pretty limited on the amount of full sunlight. It's morning here and the sun is just coming up in the east, but uh, it's probably noon before I get full sun. Now, this is February and the sun is still pretty low in the sky, but from about noon till about five o'clock, I get full sun. So I only have five or six hours where I'm generating a lot of uh, power. Just wanted to give you a quick update. It's about 1145 and it's a pretty sunny day. You can see some clouds in the sky but the sun is just making its way through the trees. It's behind clouds right now. But it really hadn't got out into the uh, main open area. We'll check back later. All right, it's four o'clock and the sun's just going behind the trees. It's been a pretty cloudy day. A front's coming through. There's been a good bit of wind and a good bit of cloud cover. Okay, it's dark 30 now. I brought the uh, power pack 600 in. It was fully charged just from uh, running it today. Of course it wasn't totally drained when I took it out. And I have it plugged in both of these lights. They're both energy efficient lights. But both of these lights are plugged into the battery as well as the cell phone. There's the cell phone. They're all plugged into the battery. And so as I said earlier there's 600 watts in that uh, stored in the battery and it's drawing somewhere around 40 watts per hour out of the battery. Right now it reads 30. So that's plenty of power to run you know till we go to bed. And then I can do it again tomorrow. This isn't uh, cost effective when you count the cost of the solar panels and the cost of this battery but it's nice in terms of having a backup in case of a power outage to be able to run a few lights 
when your electricity might be out, it'd be nice to have a little bit of light and be able to charge some phones and rechargeable batteries. Y'all have a good night.